students i am your komali ma'am in this session i am going to teach you how to extract copper from chalcopyrites pyrites that is cu fes2 by the end of this session you will solve the questions fatafat very easily solve all your doubts from this uh, you know it will be cleared just give me a 10 minutes of time don't miss it from starting of the session to ending of the session watch it let us see let us see how to do extraction you can see this is called as bessemer converter we are going to do bessemerization process first we will do it in reverberatory furnace then bessemer converter we will use this is called as blister copper okay uh, and later we will do the purification of this copper what is this blister copper blister copper i'll teach you what is this blister copper how to do the extraction how to get the copper are you ready everybody now keep uh, heading extraction of copper from cu fes2 okay cu extraction extraction of copper from cu fes2 copper chalco pyrites see before going to teach you this i will tell you in a metallurgy of a class 12 uh, entire chapter runs under five main topics what are those five this five if you know metallurgy chapter done what are the five things you study in a metallurgy first one tell me one by one what is the first one first one is we have to grind the ore whatever the ore we get from earth crust we will take the ore and we have to grind the ore crush it and make it a fine powder of the ore so first step is crushing and grinding crushing and grinding second step concentration what do you mean by concentration whatever the ore we got here we should remove the impurities under concentration we will study magnetic separation froth flotation gravity separation and leaching these are the topics we study under concentration for sulfide ores we will study froth flotation okay so here cufes2 is a sulfide ore of copper it is a main ore of copper and here we do froth flotation process okay so what do you mean by concentration we remove impurities what step we will use froth flotation here and the next step is whatever the ore we got here we should convert into oxide form why we have to convert into oxide form because oxide form reduction is easy so we convert the ore into oxide form the next step is we have to convert the oxide form into metal form how to convert oxide form into metal form through a step called reduction so this is reduction fourth step is reduction fifth step is whatever the metal we got that is impure metal we should do purification purification so entire chapter runs under these five segments let us see here extra got the clarity that's it if you know this five steps your metallurgy chapter is done now here extraction of copper from cu fes2 how to do this first take this cu fes2 chalco pyrite what is it chal co pyrite pyrite chalco pyrite you first one take the ore from earth crust and make it a fine powder then remove the impurities what can be the impurities sand will be there silica will be there siliceous impurities sio2 is an impurity so we will remove by using froth flotation so second step is froth flotation done and the third step is we have to convert that ore into oxide form how to convert the ore into oxide form we will take this ore in a reverberatory furnace okay we will pass oxygen gas i mean air we will pass we will pass and we will heat it then what happens here if you see here what will happen is 
what will happen is actually super point i'll tell you cufes2 is there right actually it is not cufes it is in the form of it it contains two main sulfide ores that is cu2s plus copper sulfides and iron sulfides again iron sulfides two iron sulfides will be there ferrous sulfide ferrous polysulfide will be there so all this together the chemically associated with each other and they form cufes2 so this will be half mole this will be half mole and this will be half mole now balance and see two coppers half means one copper balanced here half iron here half iron total one iron balanced here half sulfur here half sulfur one sulfur here two sulfurs are there in that half means one sulfur total two sulfurs balanced so cufes2 contains what half mole of cu2s half mole of fes half mole of fes2 if you know this point see how easily you can write the reaction now you are passing oxygen when you pass oxygen actually this polysulfide is there na it is like that like this s minus 2 s s minus 1 minus like this first this polysulfide ss bond will break one sulfur one this o2 goes out as a so2 remaining if one sulfur removed what it is left fes is left this is half fes this is half fes total one mole of fes over this half mole of cu2s is present so what are main components here half mole of cu2s is there one mole of fes is there now it will undergo further oxidation whenever it undergoes further oxidation this fes undergoes cu2s undergoes but do you know iron is more reactive it don't allow the it don't allow cu2s to undergo oxidation first iron is there na that iron sulfide will undergo oxidation first so fes undergo oxidation first it is a major oxidation it converts into feo plus so2 gas goes out but iron sulfide copper sulfide is in a very less amount it undergo oxidation very less amount it converts into cu2o this is called as in a minor oxidation minor minor this is called what major oxidation major oxidation even this feo how much powerful it is is it don't allow cu2s to convert into cu2 only see the reaction this feo is a right this feo even if any little c this fes 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 this fes is you know even little f fes little cu2o form would also it will abstract that oxygen itself convert into feo and converts copper oxide into again copper sulfide so the th main thing here is as long as iron present in that solution in that mixture it don't allow the copper sulfide to convert into copper oxide but what is our main criteria we have to remove the all the impurities everything finally we want to get the copper but what is the problem here iron is there right fes that is converting whatever the copper oxide is there again copper sulfide only it is not allowing the copper sulfide to undergo oxidation so we have to remove that iron how can we remove that this whatever the feo is there that feo we have to remove by adding the sio2 from outside already some silica is present as a impurity still we will add it the substance which is added from outside to remove the impurities we will call that substance as a flux here sio2 is our flux we add sio2 and we re then feo reacts with sio2 it forms fe sio3 its name is ferrous silicates this ferrous silicates it is called as a slag why it is called as slag 
iron oxide is a ferrous oxide is a base SiO2 is acidic oxide basic oxide reacts with acidic oxide forms a slag this slag floats top then this slag floats top now we will remove this this ferrous silicates actually this ferrous silicates are useful in a cement industry they use this ferrous silicates for a cement industry and all this copper sulfide goes down not every iron sulfide some some iron sulfide will be left most of the iron sulfide converts to iron oxide we add a silica and we will remove that as a slag but some part of iron sulfide still left but most of the copper sulfide left as it is you know uh, experimentally that values are 98 percent of the copper sulfide will be left and 2% of the iron sulfide will be left. This mixture we call it as a copper mate. What we call this mixture? Copper mate. Let us see. So finally what we got, children tell me, we got 98% of Cu2S which is left and some part of still some iron sulfide is left. Most of the iron sulfide we converted into iron oxide. That iron oxide we added silica, we, we removed as a slag. Done. Now, this entire mixture we will put in a pure shaped furnace. This pure shaped furnace is called as reverberatory furnace. Here one clamp will be there like this. So that, you know, this entire container will, you know, uh, it will rotate. We can easily rotate by using here these clamps and this is a stand. This is a rough diagram of Bessemer converter. Already before what we have done, we passed oxygen, air and we done the roasting. But still copper sulphide, we not able to do anything. Now you are going to do second time, you know, roasting, I mean passing air. How you pass this air here? Here one pipe will be there. By using this pipe, we will pass the air. Okay, here some holes will be there in the tube to that tube that holes that air will come in this we will put this copper mate what is copper mate 98 percent of the copper sulfide and two percent of this this is 98 percent and this is two percent this is called this mixture is called as copper mate repeat what is a copper mate 98 percent of cu2 is and two percent of this now when you pass this air now again whatever that iron sulfide is there iron more react to it goes and react it has more affinity towards oxygen so it will react and we get feas plus o2 first it reacts it forms feo and so2 gas goes out SO2 gas goes out. If any other impurity is there also, volatile impurities, they convert into oxides and go out. Then, now again iron oxide came. This iron oxide we have to remove. Important point is, we can't add flux from outside. Again, if you add flux from outside, that impurities level will increase. Okay, here very less impurity is there. We should not add flux from outside, silicon dioxide from outside. In Bessemer converter, one beautiful concept is we will do that. What is that? We will take the lining of SiO2. Okay, see here what we do? We here we take the lining, lining of SiO2. So whenever we take this lining of SiO2, how much is needed? That much only it will react. See this FeO reacts with the SiO2 lining and both reacts and forms FeSiO3. It is called as a slag. Now, the SiO2 you are taking as a lining, not you are adding so much bulk amount, very limited amount it will react. So, no impurities will be added from outside. Oh, nice. Then what is still left? CO2S is left. We removed every iron oxide, every iron sulfide. Finally, Cu2S is left. This Cu2S now undergo oxidation and convert into Cu2O. Some part it will undergo oxidation, something is left for example. That left part of Cu2S again reacts with the Cu2O and it will reduce this Cu2O into copper. And SO2 gas comes out. See, I am going to balance this. Uh, here, one oxygen. Here, two oxygen. So, I will put two. 
here two twos are four coppers, here two coppers, total six coppers. So what I want to tell you is, here Cu2 is undergoing oxidation and converting into Cu2O. Again, the Cu2O uh, reacting with the Cu2S. This Cu2S is doing this reduction process. This is called as reduction, which is also known as auto reduction. That's it. You are getting the copper here. Actually, this copper, na, it will be like this. A mass starting page I have shown you. Can you see here? Can you see here? This is this copper. Whatever we got finally, this is a copper. From this, some bubbles of SO2, see, you can see that appearance, some bubbly appearance, some like it is like some, some blisters it will be. That's why the name is given as blister copper. Everybody clear? See that bubbly, some SO2 gas which is trapped inside try to come out, but meanwhile, you know, that copper will be solidified. This is called extraction of copper from CuFeS2. Here purification is not done. We got the impure copper. Later, we have to do the purification. And first you have to remove the impurities. So some impurity will be present still. Some copper oxides will be left in the solution. We have to remove that. And impurities we should remove. So we will use polling process. And we also use electrolytic refining. In another session, I will teach you what is polling, what is electrolytic refining, purification, different segments. Is it clear everybody? Will you start solving questions? See this. How fatafat once you understand the concept in detail in depth, it will be very easy for you to solve the question. This is about extraction of copper from CuFeS2. In the next session, we I will discuss more interesting questions from this. Stay tuned. My name is Komali. I am your chemistry mentor. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next video. Bye, I love you. Have a nice day.